Jay Jarvis, Jay's queen of melody, always plays an Irish medley when Tug McGraw arrives at the mound. Tug worked yesterday and pitched four and a third of scoreless innings of baseball. It was not easy. Four and a third, he was on the mound. The Reds had eight men left on base. Twice he worked out of bases loaded situations. Mets need two outs to win it. And they're up against some heavy hitters. Chuck McGraw. Who proclaimed the battle cry, you gotta believe. Tug's second relief appearance. That's abused only three relief pitchers in the series. And when we go, Joe Morgan will be hitting with the bases loaded, and John Matlack will warm up in the bullpen. Matlack threw earlier. He would have been tuning up today. Now he will warm up seriously. Is loaded. One man away. Morgan, one for three, a double back in the third, and he scored a run. Strong hitter, batted 290 over the season. High and away, one ball and no strikes. Mary Stahl, Hal King, and Pete Rose are the men on base. Fouled upstairs, one ball, one strike. McGraw misses high, two balls, one strike to Joe Morgan. Stall, the lead runner on third, Al King on second, Pete Rose on first. Towering pop-up. It's an infield pop fly, and Bud Harrelson will be under it. They invoke the infield fly willing two down. Two men away, ninth inning, Dan Dreesen will be the hitter. Dreesen, one for three, and a run batted in. Two for 11 of the championship series. They play him as a pull hitter, the infield around the right. Foul ball, strike one. drive foul and the counter strike two. McGraw with a two strike count on Dan Greeson. Two down. The base is loaded. We're in the ninth inning. Seven to two New York. The crowd standing ready to jump. The roar starts to build. Brown ball down to first base. It shouldn't be the pennant. McGraw covering. It's all over. It's all over. Oh, look at McGraw trying to get into the dugout. He's having an awful time getting into the dugout. The crowd racing on the field. The players having a very difficult time getting into the shelter of the dugout. The New York Mets have won the National League Championship. That's a wild scene. Here come the Mets into the clubhouse. There's Tom McKenna, Jerry Kuzman, Jim Beecham, Rube Walker, Tom Seaver, Carol Weissman, the public relations director. They'll need some time to get set up in the clubhouse before we can go down for the celebration. Oh, what a scene. I thought 69 was a wild scene. I believe maybe this even tops that. Tug McGraw as happy as he can be. 
It was McGraw who uttered the battle cry, you've got to believe, when the Mets were in last place, a floundering ball club, a team that was in last place on August the 30th, and a team that put itself together, won 24 of its last 33. The final score, and we'll be back with you in a moment, the New York Mets 7 and the Cincinnati Reds 2. New York Mets will be playing the World Series here at Shea Stadium, and they are quite concerned now about what is happening to the playing field. A joyous scene on the part of the Mets fans. They have just watched another amazing Mets baseball team win a National League championship. The Mets came from out of nowhere in 1969 under the hand of Gil Hodges. They have come from far behind again this year under the hand of Yogi Berra. They have won the National League Championship. And the crowd all over the field. The World Series games at Shea Stadium will be Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night. The World Series will open at either Baltimore or Oakland on Saturday afternoon. Right now, Oakland leads Baltimore 3 to nothing in the fifth inning. If Oakland wins today, they are the champions of the American League. The New York Mets would then be boarding their charter flight tomorrow evening and flying to Oakland for the Saturday opener in the World Series. Cincinnati rallied, tied this game at 2-2 two to two in the top of the fifth inning. When the Mets came right back, they scored four big runs in the bottom half of the fifth inning, and they sailed home on the pitching of Tom Seaver. It was actually his 20th victory of the year. With Chuck McGraw who was so brilliant and relief coming down the stretch. Coming on to secure the final two outs of the ball game. Kindness Corner is brought to you by Rayco. At Rayco, if we say we'll fix your car, we'll fix it, all of it. And by your Metropolitan New York, New Jersey, and Fairfield oh, County Dotson dealers. See your nearby Dotson dealer. Drive a Dotson, then decide. Well, hi, I'm Ralph Kiner. We got Yogi Bear, the champion of the National League. The manager, Yogi, your second championship. Was this your greatest? Well, this has to be rough. My gosh, you know, we had to jump over five clubs. I know we didn't win too many ball games. You know, like they said, it's the weakest in the league. But I didn't have my club all together. We, we showed them that we could play when we got them all together. Well, actually, you got hurt here for the last game. Rusty stopped, couldn't play, and you put in Ed Cranepool. He came through, and then you put in Willie Mays, and Willie Mays also came through. Well, we had that's been our system all year, I think, Ralph. Uh, you know, we've been hurting and all that, and... Uh, uh, we just couldn't do anything easy this year. We had all the injuries. The last day, we had to get another one. That's all. No doubt about the fact that it was a tough season all the way around. You certainly didn't panic. It was a great season for the New York Mets and a great finish in September and also winning in October. Well, we just hope we can win, play four more and win them now, Ralph. You're looking for four straight? Well, I'm not looking for four <laughs> straight. Just win four. Just <laughs> win four. Okay, Yogi Berra, the winning manager, and certainly a uh, great job. Congratulations, Yogi. Eddie, come on up here, Eddie. Eddie Cranepool. Oh, here's Bob Sheppy right now. Bob, congratulations. Thank you, Ralph. Thank you very much. First time you ever won? Yes, first one I've been on. I'm real happy to be here, I'll tell you. Bob Sheppy, the general manager of the New York Mets, and uh, he's the man who got the players out on the field, and uh, Don Hahn, you brought him up from the minor leagues. He came through in the clutch. You did a great job. Also, I some think of the all other... of them did, Ralph. I think these kids deserve a lot of credit, and also the veterans on this club for never giving up. They kept plugging all year, and it's a great victory for them. Well, Yogi here said that uh, we were going to win it, and he said it all along. <laughs> That's right. right. Well, there was two of us, I believe, yeah. anyway. <laughs> well, I think maybe three. Tug McGraw. <laughs> Right, that's great. It really is. And Tom Seaver pitched the winning game in the final game with help from McGraw and a great job, Yogi. Well, real good. You know, with the fans coming off here, kind of hurt Tom. You know, distracted him a lot, broke yeah. up his rhythm, and uh, it's time to make a change, put McGraw in. Okay, here's the fellow who came in. Don't fall off, Eddie. Eddie Cranepool came through with a base hit with the bases loaded to drive in the first two runs of the game. Ed, what a real thrill that must be for you. Well, yes, it has. After 12 years being with the Met organization, to be in a position like that, where I could have been easily the GOAT or the hero of the game, and of course to come through is, is a big thrill for myself. We had to win this ball game. We got up for it. We came out swinging like I said we would, and of course came out on time. It was great, and I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. I'm sure you are. How about 69? Was this a bigger thrill here or 69? Well, I think uh, 69 was a miracle like everybody thought it was, and it approached the season, and we just passed everyone up. But here, I think it was more satisfying to the players because three months ago they wrote us off. They said we were a losing ball club. We were in last place. Everyone gave up on us. But we passed six ball clubs. We beat a fine team out here at Cincinnati. We're ready for Oakland and Reggie. 
Oakland. Well, if it's going to be Oakland, it will be a long trip to the West Coast, but a happy one. Well, we don't mind where we go. We, we know we won this afternoon. It's up to the American League to decide who the winner is. We're the champs over here, and I think the National League's ready for them. And a great thrill for the New York Mets fans. Let's see who we can get here. Where's Rusty, come on up here. Rusty. Here's a fellow who made the fantastic catch in yesterday's ball game. The Mets did not win that one, but they won it today. And uh, Rusty, your replacement, did a great job. Well, I'm just really glad, uh, Ralph. Uh, you know, I would have loved to have been out there. I was hurt. I couldn't do it. If I could have been out there, any kind of wear would have done it. And I just was so happy for everybody that uh, we were able to come through in such a grand fashion. Well, you got, him, you got him there with those three home runs. that put him in great shape. Well, I feel a big part of it. Rusty's diving, of course. We hope Rusty will be ready for the World Series. And right here is Mr. Herbie Walker and the Board of Directors. Oh. Herbie? I remember what a, you in Chicago. What a, <laughs> what a trail, Ralph. What a trail and what a vindication of Yogi and, and Bob Chevy. Hey! <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. every bit of it. <laughs> There's Tom Seaver. Tom Seaver, yeah. the winning pitcher. Tom. You haven't gotten any, Ralph. You haven't gotten any yet. Give me a little more. There goes, there goes the eyes. There goes everything. I love you. Tom. <laughs> Tom, the Woody pitcher. You're kidding me, Bat. <laughs> Tom, I want to thank okay. you for the bat. Congratulations on a great night, Rob. It's up here fight all the year, it's all it's year long, year. long and. Uh, Feels awfully good to be here, that's right. for sure. Tom, right. tell me a little bit about the ball game. You got off to a tough start. The bases were loaded, and before they were loaded, you struck out uh, Tony Perez on a great pitch, a 3-2 fastball that sucked. I don't know how they held on to that pitch. Well, Jerry, you know, I told him that I might be throwing some sinkers today. I really didn't expect to have a real good fastball, and, uh, you know, he's just such an excellent defensive catcher, uh, and he it's a tough pitch. He fouled it, and he caught it in the web, and that's a big pitch for me. It gives me two outs. Gives me an open base to put bench on, and I don't, you know, I can't walk the guy in that situation is a thing. You can't, you can't pitch the bench there with, with a base on. You've got to strike the Perez out and get bench uh, to first base. You've got to give him first base. You don't want, you know, you, you're thought in the first inning, you want to go to the dugout, give your hitters a chance to go from, uh, like a horse race, go from the start even. Boy, you don't want to, we've been fighting uphill all year long, and you don't want our players to have to fight uphill again in the last day. That was my thought, and I had to strike him out, and... Uh, you know, God bless Jerry Grody, he made a hell of a play. That uh, might have been one of the great strikeouts in your career. Well, it's, it was awfully big in the first inning, I know that. <laughs> now, what about the ninth inning? You had a chance to uh, have your rhythm broken up with the fans in the field that had to upset you. Well, I was a little bit out of gas, and, and the ball sinking a little bit too much. And I threw one real good pitch and, and, and didn't get a call strike. Three strike the road. Road. I yeah. thought it was a strike, but... Uh, Hey, I can't argue over it, so uh, it's all over. They want you out there on that, Ralph. You'll take it. We'll return we'll in just, just a moment, moment right after this word from Rayco. Rayco. Right on! At Rayco, if we say we'll fix your brakes, we'll fix them. Take our 10-point drum brake job, for example. It includes new linings on all four wheels. We she was on the losing end of the championship playoff with the Atlanta Braves when the Mets won in three straight. This time you're on a winner, and Felix, congratulations. Thank you, Ralph. You know, I was in the losing ball club in 69, but, you know, I said, we can be in the uh, losing ball club twice. You know, I said, we're going to do everything to get the championship to New York fans because they deserve it. Well, Felix, you were voted the number one Met player of the year, and also the key play in the ball game, I thought, was when you sacrificed. The throw went to third base, and Garrett was safe when the third baseman... Dreesen did not make a tag. He thought he had a forced play, and that might have been the, the play that turned the ball game around. Well, I'm glad Dreesen uh, uh, stepped up in the back. I thought, you know, if, uh, he, had, he had a chance to get a man from third base, but I'm glad he stepped on the back. Critics, you also had some great key hits in the overall playoff championships, and you played great second base for the New York Mets. Congratulations on a great year. Thank you, Ralph. Felix Mion, Mets traded for him. Got Felix Mion and George Stone, and George Stone won 12 and lost three. Right here we got Bob Murphy, and along with him, another Irishman. The old faithful Tug McGraw. Nice Tug. talking to you, Ralphie, baby. Tug, you did it again. You came in, saved the ball game for Tom Seaver under the great pressure. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, Ralph. I'll tell you, the biggest pressure was not getting out of the inning, was getting off the field. <laughs> what did you do? I thought you were going to have real trouble there. You're was the guy that uttered, you got to believe, you made everybody believe. Well, I'll tell you, we started believing early in the year when things were going bad and it helped pull us out. And right now, I'm sure there's not a person in this room that doesn't believe somehow. What about the uh, championship coming up, the World Series? Uh, you still believe? I certainly do, Ralph. There's no reason not to. The way this club bounced back today, it was uh, we came ahead, they tied it up, and then we didn't even give it, give them a chance to think about getting in the lead. We jumped right back off there and in the bottom half of the inning and, and scored some runs, and uh, from then it was momentum that carried us through the rest of the way. 